Several months have passed since the Bugler incident. The rebels the have risen. The planet bomber is celebrating a massive pet boom. Boom, you say? Smarter than dogs and cuter than cats. A pet bottom for all households. Well, that's what they are. Trash bottoms. Wish we could have one just like everyone else. Huh. Seems like you're in need of love, my little sister. <laughs> okay, leave it to me. You need a pet. All you need, dear sister, is my comfort. And let's stop being cute. Hi, big bro. <gasps> Thank it's God. Sorry. Thank you, White. Yeah, I was lucky enough to get the very last one. You all wanted one, right? We we? I think you mean me. The Bomberman brothers <laughs> rush outside, chasing after the Balam, only to see that the town is full of rioting Balams going on a violent spree. What? What's happening? We've got to do something about this. Everybody, now's the time we use our powers that save the universe. Yeah, bombs are so rare that we have to get ours back. <laughs> That's why? Oh, honey, they're gonna die. They're all gonna die. If I have any say. <laughs> Let's play as a white bomber, since we came this far. Believe in yourself. Not the heart of the cards. And certainly not in Jesus. Kill them all, yes! Please tell me it's just Bollums. Blah. Still love that face. And now that there are green ones, they look even more like trash. I wonder if they really wanted the Bollums to just be the new mascots for Bomberman. Since clearly the Higgy Bandits can't do it. Is astonished. Stage clear. Voltic surge. The faces they make when they die remind me of that one Sonic Unleashed meme. A bit, yeah. They sound like puppies. Oh, I wanted to land on it. Oh, they produce more.
You know, it's just not Bomberman without some kind of funky guitar in the background. I don't know why. Oh. That poor Bellum. Bellum, whatever. I'm just gonna connect it with Bellum from Phantom Hourglass. Oh, there's the last key. I kind of blanked. Well, I really blanked. Goodbye, White. Tidy Whitey. Now those are rabbit bollums. What? 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 Son of a bitch. Aru. He knew it was coming. Magnet, you traitor. these. Is that one a... <laughs> what is that? You know, if you're not going to do anything, I can just stay here. I'm fine with this. Although I feel like I'm about to get swamped by them. I was about to say, get me out of here. Man, the game where you can get blown up so easily, and yet I have no survival skills. Really, instincts. You should have died. Use my invincibility. No that didn't work. I did it. That got absurd.
Haha, <laughs> almost saved it. Yes, trap each other. Oh. They do look a bit like Gengar. One just didn't know what to do with its life. Nintendo fan 64 can we talk to Planet Bomber's infrastructure? Look at those street markings. Yeah, what the hell? Oh yeah, just kill yourself, that works. He said to himself. Nice. A fiver. <laughs> Not quite sure what happened. When they help me out, it's the best thing. Then I realize why people love them. This is a bad place to be. I think it made the same enemy dying noise from Bomberman 64. That was a scream. There's two more trapped up here. I barely even saw them. <laughs> Touche.
That works too. Not what I was aiming for, but I'll take it. Oh, we've got a teleporter golem. Their screams are terrifying. So weird that the thin ones produce more. I think I took one with me. That works, whatever happened. Oh good, ice. Just what was missing. It is the same death sound. Yeah, White going, uh, isn't as funny as whatever Simon Belmont was saying. Stuck up there forever. Something tripped me? What happened there? Oh, good. Well, I guess this is the one place where it makes sense to try to save people. He got dumb enough at one point. Oh, they can be hit. And when they do, they do that. Or at least I can blow them up. This can't be happening. 
get over here. It's kind of like trying to protect eggs in Super Bomberman 4. Where's the... There it is. But where do I bring them to? I can't see a light or anything. Because this camera is crap. Oh, it's over here. There we go. That wasn't too horrible. That wasn't too unconscionably atrocious. There's more than eight levels, come on. They must have been proud of this crap. No, they can be torched by bombs, I just torched one. Somebody told me, just put a bomb there, and then walk into the bomb. Then you can get across the ice that way. Oh, didn't even see that guy. I'm gonna leave that guy up there to fester for the rest of his life. I'm guessing enemies are teleporting in and I'm just not seeing it. Good work, idiot. Oh no! <laughs> that was the wrong place. And at a very wrong time. I did it! <laughs> yeah, I've got one in me. I was running after our Balum, and look where it's gotten us! This is the warehouse of the company that imports balms. Oh, that's oh, these damn balloons. If they hadn't caused wow, they put in a dam. We could have raised their price. That is rated E10. Oh well. But just for cartoon I violence. I have to make an escape to Planet Brainwave and wait Brainwave. for the situation to calm down. Excuse me. Do you work here? Have you seen our cute little ball on the range? That's not the question I had in mind. You, 
I bet you're the one responsible for this mess. From the way you're dressed, it's obvious you're planning to escape. <laughs> what are you saying? You consumers are the ones to be blamed. Balons are creatures that can transform by absorbing things in their surroundings. So, of course, they're bound to have emotions, like other intellectual life forms. The reason why I think you read that long run. Balums are rioting is because they're getting bad vibes from those who are frustrated from being unable to purchase a balum. You can't blame the consumers when you're purposely keeping them scarce. Nintendo. Yeah, if everybody could buy one, nobody would be getting frustrated in the first place. Nonsense. You're accusing me of hiding a stock of balums? <laughs> I wonder if one of the developers was paying attention to the gaming industry and decided, you know what's going in here? Uh-huh. Is it night already? Is that? It must be that the Balums in the warehouse ate each other and became one each huge Balum. So it's true that he purposely made them scarce? Of course. <laughs> to know the truth. It's a big boy. Big hypnosis boy. Marbled Balum. It's even got a clip at the top to keep it in place. Mm, I hate it here. Okay, at least I can actually attack it where it is. Ugh, I'm sick of this game. Yeah, people in the chat are pointing out Amiibos, the Switch. Which this game was originally exclusive for the Switch. Kind of biting the hand there. It's annoying that so much of fighting the bosses is predicated on getting them vulnerable, which takes way longer than the amount of time you have once they're vulnerable to actually hurt them. And once they're vulnerable, the timer is so small. Look, I didn't get any hits there. Like, the bombs have to be in the right exact place, and you do not have the time to do any precision. Plasma Bomber probably would have been good here, but I couldn't afford him. Whoa, hell. <laughs> Goodbye, rather. Justice will prevail. Kill your pets. New record. Crap. We, we won! Look, there go the balloons. The scattered balloons float in the wind and flutter away to various locations on Planet Bomber. To steal this children for their food. Sight eases the stress of all the people watching. And just like that, the rioting Balums are back to normal. Now an update on the pet creature, Balum Epidemic. The Planet Bomber government has just announced that... So, I guess at the end of the <laughs> we day... We don't care. It was our kindness that stopped the Balums from rioting. We need to stop being so greedy and learn to share with each other, okay? It came back to me, which means that it's my baby. If you don't like that, then fight me. Fine by me. I can farm all day, buddy. Hey, let me touch it, too. Stop. Let's talk about this. Um, guys, you know, can't we just be nice and share with each other? Ah! 
Oh no, it ain't white. Seems like no matter what case they solve, the Bomberman brothers are still far from being true heroes. <sighs> I'm so sick of this. Thank you, White. Someone comfort me too. <laughs> Wow, are they doing this again? No, you know we're gonna we're gonna sit through this again. Why the hell not? Still don't recognize any of these people. It's just the ending, but with balms. Like books and stories, but your smile was real. And I knew you were the one I wanted. I fell head over. Is it just. <laughs> it's just the same pictures, but they're adding balm stickers. So I don't have anything new to say about the game other than what I said last time. It feels like when the credits roll, I should sum up my feelings about the game. But they've stayed the same. It's mid-lower tier, as far as Bomberman's. Like getting a thumbtack in my foot. Or you call me up and take me on trips to the sea. Remember when I like that. And bought a flower one day at the park. And our friends said that we were so silly. But you melted my heart. I think of them all. I'm not sure. What about Grand Prix mode? I'm not playing any more of this. I can see they made a concerted effort to translate it to English logically, not just direct translation. I can tell you, I do not think of Bomberman and Romance. Which I'd never seen before. Or until I turn the game off. And we can float around with one foot on the ground, our wishes in the sky. All the time, whenever. In my mind, forever. Always like the day you came away. You're just a Teasel Bond, Thorn, you should play Bomberman Fantasy Race. I have good news for you. CRG, floating with one foot on the ground is just standing on one foot. I saw the little old school pixel bomber man.
Their Balam died the next day. It's not in its own playlist. Most of the Bomberman LPs are all in the same Bomberman Mega Thread playlist. Oh, good. Wait, where? Oh, I see. Oh, it's just a thing I can put. Oh, I see. So these are just things you put on yourself. What a waste. So that was Super Bomberman R. No, you don't need to see the multiplayer, because if you've seen any Bomberman multiplayer, you know what the multiplayer is like. It's the only thing that hasn't changed at all. But yeah, not spectacular. But hey, my patrons supported me enough that I was willing to suss it out for the PS4 and play through it today. Think about it, there's probably not any super in-depth ways you could play through this game as an LP any further than what I did here. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I was asked what I'm going to stream next. For what my patrons have formally paid for, I'll be playing Sonic Adventure DX. I just need to figure out if I can play that off Steam and keep my uh, power supply from overheating. I think I figured out that's what's causing it to shut off. But I also said that I would play the new Bloodstain game, the old school one that was released before the main one. So one of those will happen. For now, thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time.